Okay, hi, hi everybody. Yeah, I thought it would be helpful to do another another video about uh, generating dev maps in uh, SPM. So here we go. So here I just loaded a MPO file coming from a Fuji uh, W3. That picture was taken not by me but by uh, my good friend Peter Simco. So thanks very much for that picture. We're going to use that to uh, create a create a dev maps here. So again, make sure that you go into preferences and you have this thing checked. Better precision, slow, checked for adjustment. It's going to give you better alignment. Uh, so the first thing I do is to resize. Okay, so this is uh, 3,500 pixel wide. I want to reduce it to 2,048. Okay. Next, you want to align. So adjust auto alignment, and you let uh, SPM do its thing. Very important to align. Okay, next, okay, so now you're ready to create depth maps. So edit, depth map, create depth map from stereo pair. So first thing you need to do is to get the background value and the foreground value. Okay, so let's start with the background. So you have to pick a point that's the furthest in the background. So in our case, I think we can pick this little notch here, right here. So you click on your uh, on the window with the uh, red and blue uh, images, and you're going to use the left and right arrow key to make the two points coincide in the background. So here. So here I'm about right, and then you click on Get Background Value. And here I want to be conservative, so I'm going to decrease it a little bit. So minus 56. Now onward to the foreground. So I'm just going to pick a point, the the point that's the, the most in the foreground. So probably the rail here, around here. So let's do that. Again, left, right, arrow keys. And I think that's probably about right. So then you click on get foreground value. And I get a value of four, but I'm gonna increase it a little bit to be on the conservative side. So I'm gonna put eight. Don't use uh, this, the get values automatic. So yeah, don't do that. Do it the old-fashioned way, manually. Maximum image width, event width. Make sure that this number is uh, greater than uh, the width of your image, so that the SPM is not uh, tempted to resize. In my case, it's fine because the width is 2048, so I can leave it. Uh, and uh, if you just want one depth map, the left one, you don't check here. But uh, here I'm going to check this one because I like uh, the front to be white. Then what you do is that it's safer to go back to the default settings. And uh, what I'm going to do for the mic 5, uh, I'm going to increase the reduce to 32 because the image is relatively large and leave everything else the same. And for DMAG9B, uh, I want DMAG9B not to be too aggressive. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to I'm going to reduce lambda to something very small. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is that the depth map you're going to get is pretty pretty much. Uh, the depth map that the Mac 5 is outputting. It's 
So you know, we are good to go. So let's create the death map. Okay, so it's done, it's just finished. So uh, so this is the death map, the obtained death map. But it's really the death map obtained by DMAC5 without really much without DMAC 9B having any influence on this one. Uh, to convince yourself of that you can go into GIMP and you can load uh, dps underscore l dot tiff in your dmac5 underscore 9 directory where you have all your executables. That's the death map produced by dmac5 and uh, out dot tiff that this one is the death map produced by dmac 9b meaning it's the final death map so as you can see there's not that much difference between the two so now we so looking at this i can say that uh, the death map produced by dmac5 is probably uh, as good at, as good as it's going to get so now we can play with the dmac 9b parameters to try to improve it further so let's try to do that. So let's go back into SPM. Okay, so undo. And let's go back to create death map. Death map create from stereo. And let's see what we can change. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can improve uh, the death map further. So for the lambda, let's go back to the default, which is 0 0.25, and see what happens. You can always dial it back to 0 0.025 if uh, dmag 9 b is too aggressive. But let's try that. So here, the dmag 9 b parameters are all default now. So let's create the def map here. OK, so it's done. So let's go into the GIMP and load that new dev map. So it's going to be called, so it's art.diff, the new one. So this one. OK, so this is the old one uh, where we use the lambda that was very small. And this is the new one where we use the default lambda. Uh, as you can see, DMAG9B, by some kind of magic, was able to get rid of those areas, which is very nice indeed. So I think here uh, you have pretty much reached uh, the optimal level in terms of uh, depth map quality. I don't think you're going to be able to improve much unless you want to uh, edit the depth map by hand, which you can do in SPM if you want to and get rid of this and this. I don't think it's going to have any impact on, uh, for instance, a Facebook 3D photo. Uh, yeah, just a quick word. Uh, um, let's undo here and go back to the parameters. So let's go back, create the map from stereo. Okay, so yes, another way to to make the my 9B less aggressive. So we have already seen that you can uh, reduce lambda. Uh, either by quite a bit or by not too much. So if you reduce lambda, dmag9b is going to be less aggressive. But uh, also, if you reduce that one, the sample rate spatial, if you reduce it, dmag9b is also going to be less aggressive. So if you see that uh, dmag9b is uh, changes changes the dmag5 uh, death map too much, you can uh, you can reduce this one. So instead of 32, you can put 16 or even 8. So 
uh, these are things you can try to see if you can improve the depth map further. In, in, in this case, the depth map is uh, good, it's 32, so I don't do anything else. But uh, in general, you may want to uh, play with uh, not only uh, lambda, but also this one, the sample rate special, spatial. So keep that in mind. Let's save the depth map as a 3D photo. So here you have to change to white because front is white. So save. And then we're gonna load up the uh, the 2D image, the left image and the depth map. And I'm about to uh, to create the post the post. So uh, before you post, you can certainly check the 3D uh, animation, and if you like it, you go ahead and post. Otherwise, if you don't, if you don't like it, you just cancel it, and nothing is going to happen. So. Um, that's pretty much, pretty much it for today and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.